Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 2 of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts here in the United States. Um, nothing really going on here. Don't Not building any new ships, although we are building some for both the Netherlands and for Portugal. With that, we're actually losing a good amount of money here, uh, which is a bit of a problem, but it's going to turn out to be profitable at the end of the day. We are on the way, sending a bunch of our ships from the eastern USA to go protect around here. Not that we're at wartime or anything, but, you know, it's always good to just station them there. Just keep them off the coast of both Portugal and uh, the Netherlands, which actually may be really important because we are kind of antagonizing Germany a little bit here, and Spain does not have a very favorable opinion of us. So with that, maybe it might be a good thing that uh, keeps some boats in the Bay of Biscay. But right now, we are working on the research, um, working on improving the ship machinery, which um, better engines we have will make armored cruisers or heavy cruisers be more uh, palatable for us. Because right now, the engine efficiency on those, not really worth having a heavy cruiser if the engine efficiency is going to be at 60%, basically. We are working on uh, getting the new destroyer design, though, because we are uh, going to have a lot of convoy escorts that we're going to need. Speaking of convoys, uh, transport capacity, cutting that down a little bit right now. Just to keep the monthly balance looking good. Crew training, I want to keep that up, though. As actually, maybe just dip that down to 80% of the maximum. Just to keep up as much as we can. Okay, so we keep the naval funds going as long as we can. So besides that, we are still working on maneuver warfare just to increase the training. Because, again, what's the point of having ships if you don't have a decent crew? They can really work them out. So going to kind of sim forward through a few months here and see what we're looking at by summer of 91. Well, in March, we uh, got a new trade agreement with Argentina. So um, let's see. Can you utilize ships of Argentina during war? Can sell them more ships? And can also take advantage of their oil. I'm not sure how much oil they have. So where's Argentina? Down here? Unsure. Okay, so problem is we got to be a little wary of how many ships we sell them because we're going to ultimately uh, run out of cash here. We're kind of uh, sending our boats, or some torpedo boats hang out in the Caribbean here. Just in case, because you never know. So we're actually working on a refit of the torpedo boat Cougar class. Uh, nothing to really do a brand new design yet, but we do have a new triple expansion steam engine that we're going to upload onto it, which improves the efficiency a little bit. And in turn, it's going to make us uh, faster by 0.3 knots. Every little bit's going to matter, especially with the early torpedo boats here. So that's going to be done. Save that design, and it's not going to cost us $900,000. So I believe... That should be in the works now. We got to go back to ship design here. There we go. Selecting all these now. All right. Refitting every single torpedo boat that we have. Should probably get the rest of them back, but um, that's okay. I mean, all these are going to be in port here. Can we also do the same with the Columbia and the Astoria class? Let's see here. Well, Astoria, we could do that. Going to get those new engines as well. Increase the speed to maybe 19 knots. Just make them a little bit better. Um, new boilers don't have those yet. Coal. Don't have all those. Have the new nickel steel armor. Which will be a little more expensive. But, it's more strong. So we're going to save that. That'll cost us $5 million. Do the same thing here. Okay, so everything that is in port, just the Tacoma and Chattanooga. That's fine, because all the other ones are currently out at sea. But we'll bring them back. They probably won't be shown during the video, but we'll bring them back. Now for the Columbia, let's see if we can do the same. I do want to say for the Columbia, this is still just a coastal defense ship, so it's not a proper battleship just yet. Not sure how many full-on battleships we'll have anyway. 
but let's see. Go and let's see what we can increase the speed to. Well, the light cruiser is at 19. I think we can have some parts are badly placed. What parts? That gun there? Oh, well. Maybe we won't worry about it. Again, Columbia, pretty early design here. It's not a proper battleship just yet. Navy's going to be primarily focused around light cruisers anyway, and destroyers, once we have those designs unlocked in just a few months. Actually, speaking of which, let's get a few more Astorias built. Let's get eight, and we're actually going to position these on the west coast. San Francisco, I think, is going to be our main port. Base four there. Spread the other two between Seattle and San Diego. Also going to need some more torpedo boats. Just get more Cougars built. Kind of distribute them the same on the Western USA. Okay, maybe one in Panama. All right. Keep skipping forward here. Still a whole lot of nothing. Still a whole lot of nothing going on here in November. Um, but we do need to make our shipyard a little bit bigger. As uh, actually, I was comparing the total tonnage we have between all our navies. We actually have the smallest tonnage, forty-seven thousand tons compared to the juggernaut of Austro-Hungary Hungary Hungary 193,000 France got 204,000 but they got a lot more capital ships than we do problem is we need a better or more shipyard capacity so what we're going to do is we actually did unlock a new design for a battleship rather than a coastal defense ship the problem is, needs 11,000 to 16,000 tons capacity here in the shipyard. So that's what we got to do next. Because we haven't tested the battle capabilities of the Columbia yet. Although as a coastal defense ship, I'm probably going to bring those back. I just haven't patrolled the Atlantic. Because again, not really worried about anything in the Pacific happening just yet. But the closer we keep them to the shore, the better we'll be. Let's go here. Let's see. Problem is, we don't have that much funds available, so we gotta let that charge up a little bit. Oh, joy. Oh, might be escalating things here. Welcome to December. Our fishermen complain that they are getting harassed by German Empire's military ships in every possible way. The government asks how you... Or government asks you how to respond, send an official protest, or send a naval squadron to protect your fishermen. That's what we're going to do. Journalists ask about your naval expenditures policy. Um, the continuous development of powerful, powerful military fleet. Get that so you get more funds. You get more prestigious navy. As we keep going. So what we're currently actually focusing on is want to make the torpedo boats a bit more effective. So working on propulsion and torpedo size. Also we're at control station. Because yeah, while we have uh, a lot of more experienced crews coming very soon, I uh, want the technology to be there to help them harness their accuracy. Halfway through 1892 now, still at peacetime, although Germany and us are busy antagonizing each other. We'll see if anything comes of that. Got new uh, torpedoes. Everything's all set there. Actually, more research is being done. Just want to show you what we're doing on the tech tree now. Work on hull protection. Got new control station, which will improve the accuracy. But we just want to make sure we can also protect against torpedoes. And then we can re-outfit the boats that we have. Torpedo size, that's been done. Torpedo propulsion, that'll be done soon. Um... Torpedo tubes? Maybe not yet. But what else do we want to work on? 
Uh, I think I'll also work on whole strengthening. See if we get new get new holes available to us, and then see if we can build. Not there yet in terms of naval funds, especially ones to get the monthly balance better. So actually, we could probably do that right here. As we've actually shipped off a lot of our acquisitions by Netherlands, Argentina, and Portugal. So we should be coming very profitable very soon here. There you go. Just make sure we get that into positive for now. Still getting more ships built for everyone, but uh, should be able to increase the shipyard capacity here just a little bit. All right, so 1893 just rolled around. I think we're at that point now where we can increase the shipyard capacity. Basically, have to double it. Well, maybe we won't double it, but we'll get close. Add 4,000 tons set. That'll take 18 months, so we're not going to build anything until... 1894, I guess. But, it should be able to uh, relatively be profitable. It should still work out here. Ooh, colonial conquest. Morocco's new leader was found to support armed terrorists who disrupt the regional trade networks. What? The United States increased the tension between two countries. United States government. Decided to launch a swift military operation to occupy Morocco, replace the local government, and pacify the region for the coming years. Task force of at least 33,777 total tons is needed to support this invading force. Do you support this action? Okay. Um, Uh-oh. But France, Germany, and Austro-Hungary didn't like that. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that could be a problem. Okay, let's see here. So we got, let's move some of these ships on over. Finally get some combat, perhaps. Got the Columbia here. Just moving those over from Porto, basically. Norfolk, move the Maryland on over. Do we need the torpedo boats? I don't think so. Let's get some more light cruisers over. Move everyone from Portland on over. How about that? Hey, finally some action. I'm not sure if it's actually going to mean anything, but let's see. Okay, we have enough tonnage now here in July 1893 here in Morocco. Chance to succeed 36%. Um, all right, let's see what this does. I don't think it's actual combat here, but just kind of blockading the ports. Actually. Maybe set it as invade, perhaps. That should do it. No, no, maybe. Not sure exactly what it's going to do, but let's keep going. Oh, and there's war. Uh, not between us. It's between Japan and China here in September of 93. Um, pretty happy with Japan. Well, relatively happy with Japan. I don't know if anyone's really going to call any allies here, but uh, interestingly enough, um, that's over in the Pacific. I don't think it's going to spill over to us, but we might want to build up the fleets over on the Pacific a little bit. We are actually losing a little bit of our chance to succeed there, so you know what? I want to pull over a few more boats. Maybe pull over the boats from the Philadelphia port. They'll get there in four turns. Hopefully that'll boost us a little bit. Took out a lot of naval funds though, so we are going to build a few more ships. See, Minister of Finance believes that the fleet needs more destroyers. He's ready to allocate adequate funds for construction of destroyers. Hey, look, I'm never going to argue against getting more money here, so. So 
So actually, ship design. We're going to get a few more of the Cougar class. These guys. We're going to distribute them over the Pacific, actually. Put one in Anchorage. Actually, put two in Anchorage. Two in Nome. Because I don't think we have much of a presence in Alaska right now. Dutch Harbor we'll get to. Rest, I think we'll just distribute them along the western U.S. There we go. Do we have any new designs? Let's see what we could do right now. Okay, so we got the small battleship, which I don't really want to go for a small one. I'm working on upgrading for the regular battleship, an experimental battleship. See, floatability resistance. Resistance is actually better with the experimental. So you know what? Maybe we'll actually go with that one for the first one we go for. Armored cruiser. Just kind of want to see if the engines would be sustainable at this point. So right now, let's see. So Astoria could go 19. Columbia could go 17. So we aim for a boat that can go... So it was a nice little in-between. Something that could go 18 knots. The problem is, I don't think the engine's capability is there yet. So we're just kind of just experimenting here to see what we got. Can't put a funnel out there. Funnel would have to go right in the middle here. Yeah, we're still not there. We're nowhere close to being there. So, Armor Cruiser, still gonna have to wait. Hey, we had an election in January 1894. The Center Party won again, retains control of government. Uh, not sure what that really gains us, but I don't know. Um, I do know Portugal wants to order a Columbia class. Uh, would be quite profitable at the end of the day. So go ahead and do that. That one won't be as profitable with Argentina's price, so that's okay. Um, all right, chance succeeds, getting better at least. Still not fully there. As three turns left, still working on engines. Got new boilers coming very soon. Hull construction and cruiser designs coming very soon. Forty-five hundred ton heavy cruiser. So it might work out. We might actually finally get a heavy cruiser built, or at least designed by the end of this episode, so. Okay. Finances. I think we want to work on these a little bit more. Just dial them up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Coming to the end of the little conquest mission here. Let's see how this is going to work out. Uh, Portugal wants some Astorias. Okay, they can have them. We failed to gain control of Morocco. Okay, well, I don't think that was necessarily the goal here. But that's okay. All right, I guess we're just going to move these back on to Norfolk. Um, These guys, you're just going to kind of hang out. Just protect our trade in Portugal. Three light cruisers. Gonna move you guys. Back to your port in Philly. So, so much for that. I guess as long as we still stay at peacetime here. Just gonna develop our new ships. Once the... Hull capacity, or the shipyard capacity, is increased. Hey, August 94, and we are finally have a shipyard that is big enough here, and we got 230 naval funds in the bank. That should be plenty enough to finally get an actual battleship built. So, um... Max optimal speed. Well, the problem with the experimental battleship is, sure, it's got better resistance... And better uh, stability. 
and less surface visibility. Um, the problem is it's going to be a bit slower, but I think that's okay. I could deal with the 16.5 knots there. That should be totally fine. Uh, bring it back. There we go. So official title, this would be the Washington class. But, uh, I'll worry about those in a bit. We're just worried about propulsion right now. Spacious quarters, range. We would need that to be a lot. 6,000 kilometers. All right, let's see what we got here. These massive towers. Might be too big. Um, let's see here. What can we do funnel-wise? Oh, that might not work. Um, might need to shrink the main tower a little bit. There's three funnels right in the middle. It's not that great looking, but... Oh, well. Let's see... Let me pull the speed back a little bit to 60 knots. It's going to be a very slow ship. I think the Columbia is actually faster, but this thing's just all going to be all about all out firepower here. So, with our center lines, biggest gun possible oh, 12 inch. I don't think that's going to work. Ten inch gun? On either side, there you go. What can we put down here? I don't know if we can put anything there. Can we put anything on these little turrets here? Six inch guns? Maybe put, nah, uh, I think those are too big. Uh, five inch. He's got guns all over the damn place. Okay. And can we put four inch guns on the side here? Could. I'll just worry about casemates here. Guns all over the damn place. Okay, torpedo launchers. Don't have many. There we go. Let's see, nickel steel armor. That's what we're going to want. Anti torpedo. Going to need those. Citadel. Protect us. What do we want to do in terms of the rudder? Um. Acceleration will be better. Turning rate will be a bit poor. But it'll keep the speed up. While turning, at least. Let's see. I think... Might want to go with... Just increase rather than max HE. Shell damage, use gun cotton. Let's see, you want to worry about the armor quality though. Now, the Columbia, I believe, has up to 13.5 inch for the belt here. So, you know what? Kind of want to look for the same thing, or at least as close to as possible. Maybe 12 inch. There we go. 
Torpedoes, not really worried about those, especially on this thing. Maybe take a little bit out. Anything to make these as good as possible. Standard shells. Yeah, we'll increase the ammo size. And use heavy shells as well. All right, so that's going to be for the Washington. So we'll save this. Get a couple built. All right, so it's going to take 14 months to build the Washington, but uh, make sure we'll build four here. We'll kind of distribute them about. One's going to New York. One's going to go to Portland. One at Norfolk. And one on the West Coast. So that's going to go to San Francisco. And uh, we'll kind of just go to the end of 1894 here. Don't expect any wartime to happen. But uh, actually, you know what? I think the Columbia might want to... Do you want to scrap the Columbia right now? Might still be useful. So you know what? Actually, we'll build one. I'll just station it in Panama just in case. Actually, no, we'll put it in Miami. Okay, onwards. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We might be approaching war. German Empire has sent us an ultimatum demanding financial compensation for our discovered acts of espionage. I didn't even know we were doing that. Government is interested in your opinion about this. Their rhetoric is unacceptable. No. Majority in Parliament, we don't have that. Calls for immediate action against Spanish Empire. What is your reaction? Why? Um, it's necessary to provoke Spanish Empire in attacking us so the public is on our side. I think we're ready for war, if it came down to it. Might be famous last words there. Um, actually, let's see how their navy is doing. They only have 39 ships, so yeah, we could totally take them. Um, don't have many capital ships, not many light cruisers, eight torpedo boats, but you know what we're going to do? Um, we're going to... We're actually going to move our buddies in Norfolk actually down to Miami. Because if they attack, we're going to go for Cuba right here and for Puerto Rico. I don't think they have a presence down here. We still have our three light cruisers just hanging out in Argentina. And it's not much of a presence there in Porto. You know what we're going to do? Um, don't want to leave ourselves too exposed, so it comes down to it. Might just have to deal with this. Charleston. I think you guys are just going to stay right there, unfortunately. So we're a little exposed here. I mean, we could bring down our friends from Amsterdam, just kind of station them in Porto right now. Kind of be in the heart of things if Spain does decide to attack. I don't think the fleet there's going to stand much of a chance, but just going to have to deal with it. As bad as that sounds. Yeah, it's 1895. Yeah, we haven't had much action here, but um, good news is technology is really getting there for the fleet. So um, I imagine we'll be at war in the next episode, which will focus on 1895-1900, unless we do enter war. And at which point... Um, obviously time's going to go much slower there. I think we're on a good starting point. Spain does try to attack their fleet is much, much worse than ours. Although really we're torpedo boat heavy just to kind of help escort our cruisers or transports. But, uh, more on that, hopefully in the next episode. So apologize for not much action here. It's all kind of setting up. I think we are on the footsteps of, or the doorstep of war here. So, um, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And, uh, yeah, should see some action next episode. Thanks for watching.